Hello viewers, welcome back to our YouTube channel 3D Parametric Solid Model Drawings. Today we will talk to you about basic techniques loft features in solid box. The design of this model is selected from SOLIDWORKS tutorials. In this lesson, you create a hammer head using loft features. A loft feature is a base, boss or cut created by connecting multiple cross sections or profiles. This lesson demonstrates creating planes, sketching, copying and pasting the profiles creating a solid by connecting the profiles, adding a flex feature to bend the model. Ok, that's it. Now we are showing two images of this model, so that you can understand what this model will look like at the end. If you want to get the file of this model, I have given the link address in the description of my video by visiting that link you can get it easily. Ok, that's it. Let's start the tutorial. Now we will create a new power file in SOLIDWORKS. Click OK. We will open the visibility of the front plane. and activate the plane command from here. Create a new work plane at an offset distance value 25 mm from the front plane. Ok, alright. Then we will create a second new plane at an offset distance value 25 mm from the plane 1. Now we will create a third plane at an offset distance value 40 mm from the plane 2. Ok, that's it. You can see here, 4 planes are visible here in the design window. Let's start the sketch over the front plane. We will activate the options dialog box and go to the display selection section. Now we will deactivate the display shaded planes option from here and click OK. Draw a center point rectangle from the part origin. Ok. Its height and width will keep 60 by 60 mm. Ok, finish the sketch. At 
एंड नाउ वी विल क्रिएट अ सेकेंड स्केच ओवर दी प्लेन वन we will create a circle from the center point its diameter will keep 50 mm Okay, finish the sketch. We will create a third sketch over the plane too. Draw a circle from the center point. This circle will be fixed at the end point of the rectangle line from here. my sketch is fully defined on here so we will finish the sketch rotate the model in isometric view now you can see three sketches are visible here in the design window Let's copy the sketch 3 from the feature manager design tree. And paste the sketch at plane 3 like this. Okay, all right. Now see my fourth sketch is visible on here. Let's start the lofted boss base command from here. And then next we will select the sketches one by one that you are showing on here. Which will keep as profiles. Lofted boss base feature preview is visible on here. and click okay to finish the command see the first lofted boss base feature has been created on here now we will change the color of this model select the custom color from here that we created previously click okay it's looking perfect Save the power file with the name Hammerhead. Click Save. Okay, that's it. Let's select the front plane and drag the plane rear side. Please make sure Control plus C button should be pressed on your keyboard, otherwise new offset work plane will not be made. Okay that's it Fix the offset distance value of 200 mm and click okay now see Now we will go on the display manager and choose hidden lines removed option. Select this plane choose normal to option. Let's start the sketch over this plane. draw a center point rectangle from the part origin
ओके इट्स विथ विल की 150 हंड्रेड फिफ्टी एम एम एंड हाइट विल की फाइव एम एम ओके फिनिश द स्केच Rotate the model in isometric view. And activate the lofted boss base command. Rotate the model in this position. First of all, we will select the back face of the lofted boss base feature. Okay, all right. then next we will select this small rectangle now you can see two profiles are shown on here and click okay we will choose shaded with edges option Start the flex tool from here. Let's on here bend the second lofted boss base feature. The bend option is already been selected on here. First of all, we will select the back loft feature because we have to twist this feature. Okay, all right. and then next under trim plane two section now we will select this vertex point of the feature as shown in the graphics area Okay that's it right click and select align to option now we will select the right plane okay right click and select move drag to plane two option okay and drag the feature like this now see my second loft feature is twisting easily on here and set the angle 20.79 degrees click okay to finish the command hide the visibility of all the work planes Okay that's it now my model is completed on here
I hope you will enjoy this video. If you may like this video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please share this video your friends and colleagues. Okay friends, goodbye.